cannon fire! Where did it come from? How? You! You die on me, Ishola! Hold on! But you... You will entertain me, will you not? Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, obscure video games, uh, art or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. Thank you for volunteering to join me. This should be a fairly straightforward reconnaissance mission so long as we do not have the ill fortune to run afoul of an Imperial patrol. Come. Our destination is beyond East End, just north of Veladina. Yeah, a little reconnaissance. Let's boogie! This ought to be close enough. Now we settle in for a long watch. That said, it would be prudent to keep your weapons at the ready in the event a passing patrol stumbles upon us, or worse. Excellent. The disposition of the Imperial forces is exactly as expected. I will notify Father. Cannon fire! Where did it come from? Smoke! There! Is that... Oh, gods, it's Ralga's reach. It's no use. I think someone's jamming our communications. You don't think... Could this be part of a coordinated attack? Too early to draw conclusions. We must abort the assault and return to the Reach at once. Well, that's not good. No, no, it isn't. These guys. No kin of mine. Oh, no. What the heck? Well, well. Stand aside, Pilus. This one has promise. Have a care, my lord. She's not like the others. Hmm. Do not disappoint me, girl, or I will kill you. His voice is so creepy. Like, ugh, kiss me the heebie-jeebies. Seven hells. It's him. It's Xenos. The Viceroy? Oh, you are a dead man! So spirited and yet so empty. Ah, a 
magical barrier. Alas. It will not save you. How? Oh yes, no. I am. Blood, we never see blood. Hold the line, Byrolga! Hold the line! <gasps> Gosh, this is a lot of brutality. Cryo. Oh, man. Alphano. We saw the smoke and thought we heard explosions. Are we under attack? The Imperials were all over us before we realized what was happening. No one knew where to run or what to do. It was chaos. Lisa and Master Kemp rallied the guards and bought us enough time to get some of the wounded to safety, but I haven't seen either of them since. Confound it! If we lose the Reach, this will all have been for naught! Arenvold, can you escort these people to the wall? Aye, sir. Our place is at the Reach. We must offer such aid and succor as we are able. Saving lives is now our paramount concern. If we can hold back the Imperials until Father sends reinforcements, we may yet turn the tide. I'll join you. I've done all I can for these people, and you'll be crying out for a healer in there. I fear you're right. Come, there is no time to lose. Yeah, Imperials are worse than bugs. Disgusting. God help us, they're killing everyone. This is kind of fun. Haha, -ha, this is that fish. Skitter. Skitter! Ha! Ah. Thank you so long. Alpha, no, I need your help. My lord, the prisoners. Magic healing powers. I wish we had that in real life. See to your men, Pylos. Oh. Oh. Uh, as you command, my lord. Your friends were a disappointment. But you... You will entertain me, will you not? Gross. Gross, 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 gross. Be gone! No, you! Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Give me something to remember! Frick. Oh, I'm gonna die. This is not fun. 
I'm like not even doing any damage to him. <laughs> Stay away! What am I not doing correctly? Let's see my best strategy. This ends now. Oh no. Be gone. No! <laughs> okay, I think we're supposed to lose that one. I was gonna say, this is a. I'm not doing anything to this guy. There's no way we're supposed to beat him right now. Man, he's scary. He's tougher than a primal. Oh, but we broke his sword. <laughs> Pathetic. It's just rude. Seven hells. Good job, Robin. Don't do it. Shall we give chase, General? Nay. There has been enough death this day. See to the wounded. Aye, sir! You all right, lass? I think my pride might have taken a knock. Be like, he knocked me down a pig. <laughs> It is no ordinary foe could best the likes of you. <sighs> so sad, though. Ugh. We just got everybody on our side to help us fight, you know. Half of them were dead. Jeez. Don't you die on me, Ashola! Hold on! Don't worry, it's going to be all right. Alphano, Master Kemp is all yours. Understood. Don't just stand there gawping. Hold her down while I work. The worst is past, but without the proper facilities, I can do no more. Master Kemp too would be better served in the infirmary. Let us take them there without delay. Give us a hand, would you, Lise? Uh, 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 of course. I know you must be exhausted, but there will be others who need our help. Leave these two to us and look to the other wounded. Yeah. You did well, Burr. You saved lives. No matter what happens, remember that. Now then, let's do what we can for the wounded. Every minute counts. Ugh. Bedford lies motionless, having breathed his last, clenched in his fist as a small charm which you take for safekeeping. He was already cold when I got to him. There was no what I could do. That charm must have been important. You best take it to Conrad. Minago, Mefred, where are you? This... this is... He's dead, isn't he? 
Befford was a warrior, always thinking about others before himself. He once had an Imperial patrol chase him nigh on 20 miles so that his wounded would have time to escape. His comrades loved him for it, of course, though that only made him worry more. Did you know that he sent his men in Quarry Mill away because he thought they were fighting for him and not the cause? Aye, well he did. The only life he was willing to risk was his own, you see. But that's exactly the kind of man who should be leader. The kind of man who deserves to survive. Not a... Not an old fool who's all used up. There's no logic to it, Master Kemp. There never is. Who stands, who falls. In the heat of battle, we can do but our best, as he did. Mefford will be sorely missed, aye. But because of his sacrifice, many now live who otherwise would not. But they need us, now more than ever. <clears throat> aye. Aye, that they do. Forgive me. I had... High hopes for him is all. I love that you just turn around and there's your next quest. Like, where is he? He's the shortest one. Our defeat was no near thing. It was total. A humiliation. We were powerless to withstand our enemy's assault. But we cannot afford to dwell on our failure. As Alphino said, it is those who survived whom we must think of now. Ralgar's reach is no longer safe. The Imperials may have withdrawn, but they could return at any time to finish what they began. We dare not remain here. Those who are not fit to make the journey to Castrum Orient will need to be taken by Chocobo carriage. Agreed? Good. I shall oversee preparations for the carriages. In the meantime, I would have you scour the infirmary for any supplies that might prove useful during the journey. Forgive me, but it is imperative that I continue preparing medicines for the wounded. If you desire treatment, I must ask that you seek it elsewhere. Oh, I see. In that case, you are free to search the barber and take that which you require. I would not have our, our people dying in route. I would assist you, but this process demands my undivided attention. Miss, Marshal Tarapin said you might have something for me. Twelve be praised. This should put the driver's hearts at ease. Tell the vice marshal we await his orders. Ishola and the others are safely strapped in. Don't worry, I'll be by her side the entire time. Thank you, Grail. I'll walk alongside. They'll need protection in case the Garleans try anything. Hang on, you're injured too, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in one of the carriages? I'm not so frail that I can't make the trip on my own. Besides, there's still work to be done here. I'll see you at the wall when it's finished. As you wish, then let us set forth at once. We shall move as quickly as our comrades' health allows. To Castrum Orions! Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> you saved a good many of my men, and I cannot thank you enough for that. But the fact remains, our forces were decimated. In this state, we'll not be mounting an assault on Castellum, Veladona, Dina, or anywhere else. We need to be honest with ourselves about our prospects. But first, we need to put our affairs here in order. Afterwards, I'll join you all at Castrum Orients. Understood. We will go and speak with General Alden. Pippin has already departed with the wounded, has he? Good. We have completed our search of the reach of the surrounding area. As far as we can tell, Xenos and his men returned straightways to Specula Imperatoris after quitting this place. It would seem he's lost interest in us. Which brings us to the most troubling question of all. Not how he found us, but why he chose to spare our lives having done so. In war, you kill or capture your enemy. You don't leave them to fight another day. Only a fool would turn his back and walk away. But Sinos is no fool. Whatever his motive, this is neither the time nor the place to think on it. I will leave a token force to watch over the reach. The rest will fall back to Castrum Orions. We can discuss our path forward there. Da 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 Kryle is with his Shola. She still hasn't woken up, but Kryle says she's through the worst. Given the severity of her wound, we could have hoped for no more. Let us pray she makes a full recovery. We lost a lot of good people, didn't we? I saw it happen. When the Skull's commander cut down Mefred, 
A single blow and that was it. Everything he fought for, all his hopes and dreams for the future, gone in an instant. And do you want to know the worst part? It wasn't a Garlean who did it. It was an Alamegan. Gods help me, if I ever... No, not now. Not while the general's waiting. Oh, these. Were it not for the swift actions of the Scions and the Alliance, many more would have died. You risked your lives to save ours, and for that we thank you. There is no need for thanks. We are allies, are we not? Aye, just so. Let us not dwell on this tragedy, but look to the future. The future? I'm sorry, General, but there is no future for us. We've lost too many. Gods, I can still see Mefrid with that woman standing over him. <sighs> They've ripped the heart out of us, General. They've broken us. Our fight is over. Master Kemp, please. I'll always hate them with every fiber of my being. For what they took from us then and now. Our homeland, our freedom, our bloody children. You mean the Skulls? The youths who fight for Xenos? Grania Lupi, the Black Wolf's legacy and our shame. A unit made up of children born to Alamegan dignitaries who came of age during the occupation. <laughs> Sons and daughters of Gia Abania, raised to be proud citizens of the Empire, with all the rights and responsibilities that entails. It'd be easy to curse them and call them traitors, but they're our children. Our flesh and blood. If the only way to forge the future we want is to cut down our own, then... Then what was it all for? Nargo? What will you say to the families of the Fallen? To the mothers, and the widows, and the orphans? Will you tell them it was all for nothing? Listen to the girl. We dare not suffer our comrades' sacrifices to have been in vain. Now is the time to steal our resolve and press on, painful though it may be. And when Xenos comes back with his army? What then? This isn't the first time, you know. You'll be hard-pressed to find men brave or stupid enough to face him again. I still can't believe how strong he was. He humiliated us back there. The Warrior of Light included. God help us if he's next in line to the Garlean throne. Loath though I am to say it, we should not be surprised. Before succeeding Van Balesar in Alamigo, Xenos led the Imperial Army to Doma, where he crushed the rebellion utterly. As a matter of fact, Doma remains in his charge to this day. Suffice it to say, Varus's heir is a peerless warrior and an accomplished general. The question is, how are we to contend with such a foe? What you got, Alfie? What you thinking? Well, to put it simply, <laughs> we have one legatus overseeing two provinces a world apart. I say we divide and conquer. We kindle the flames of revolution in Doma once more, thereby forcing Xenos to fight a war on two fronts. For that, there would need to be someone left to fight on this front by the time you got back. Look, I'll not deny the plan as promise. And I feel for our brothers and sisters in Doma, truly I do. But I fear we lack the strength to see it through. Ugh. Have faith in your people, Master Kemp. Them and the Scions. Hold fast, rebuild. And when all is in place, we shall defeat Xenos together. If you're going to Doma, I'm coming too. I want to help our friends there. And make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Give us the time we need, and we will give you something far greater. Very well. For all you have done for us, we will fight on. But be swift, comrades. Al amigo has suffered enough.
It goes without saying, but the Scions alone have not the strength to topple a provincial government, here or anywhere else. And I am quite certain the same can be said of the Dolman Liberation Front. Nevertheless, we can but go and assess the situation for ourselves and see what can be done. Lest you doubt what good we few can accomplish, I would remind you that my grandfather and his twelve disciples once journeyed to those lands to save Eorzea and her people from certain doom. Brave souls with an impossible task, and Eorzea lives on. We know. Believe me, we know. <clears throat> Our present mission may not be as monumental in scope, but it is no less important to the multitudes whom we would free from imperial oppression. Where men go is one, there is life, and where there is life, there is cause to hope. Our grandfather believed that, and so do I. But before we can forge ties with our friends in the Far East, we must first find a way to reach them. Our thought is not exactly over the river and through the woods. <laughs> I am one step ahead of you, dear sister. Or rather, Tataru is. But before we discuss that, there is another issue I wish to address. Much as I would like it, if we could all make this journey together, someone will need to remain to serve as liaison to the Alliance and the Resistance during this critical period. Moreover, as Estrola cannot be left unattended, then I should obviously remain. Very well, issue addressed. You know, Alphino, it would have been quicker just to ask and markedly less patronizing. <laughs> yes, I suppose. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Would you be willing to look after Estrola and provide support to Erevald and the others? Yes, Alphino, I would. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? Enjoy your trip and don't you dare return with a gift. Oh, I would not dream of it. Right then, sister, Burr, Lise, gather your things. We are for Limsa Lominsa. Whoop whoop. Tataru should be here any moment with our ship's captain. So we're going by sea after all. Is Marwen blending us our pick of the Crimson Fleet? Not exactly. You are right in as much as we will be traveling by sea. Regrettably, it is simply not feasible for an airship to travel such a distance without impossibly large fuel reserves. To say nothing of the inevitability of running afoul of the Empire's aerial defenses. But then it is equally infeasible to sail in a Yorzean Alliance vessel halfway around the world without the Empire taking notice. Which leaves us with only one other option. Ah, speak of the devil. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting. May I present you to you, Captain Cavaralan of the Kraken's Arms. He's the pirates. <laughs> the Kraken's Arms? Don't tell me you made a deal with pirates. No! Pirates! Pirates! Greetings and salutations, Scions. I take it from your comrade's tone that you no longer wish to proceed with our proposed arrangement. Not at all, Captain. Pray forgive my sister her outburst. She has ever been one to speak her mind. I, on the other hand, am the very soul of discretion, as many well-respected personages would attest, from the offices of the Admiral to the high houses of Ishgard. <laughs> okay, Alfie. Ah, but where was I? Oh, yes. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn do indeed still wish to employ your services. However, it is important that you are aware of our certain extenuating circumstances. We might get shot at. <laughs> and intent on securing passage to the Far East, you came to us, knowing us to be the proud purveyors of said region's finest spices. Would you steal from God's fearing merchants out on the high seas? Hell! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Whatever privateering the Kraken's arms may or may not engage in is strictly within the limits of the law, as set forth by our indefatigable keeper of the peace. More to the point, we are pragmatic. Prag pragmatist? Pragmatic? I can't. I don't know these words. I know them, but I don't know how to pronounce them. I see considerable risk in aiding your cause and negligible profit. Well, I for one think the captain has a point. The five seas can be extremely tetris, and many a poor unfortunate soul has come to grief out there on the waves. 
Why, when we were in Ishgard, I heard the tragical tale of how the heir to a house Durandale vanished at sea. Even now, nearly twenty years later, the poor Count remains convinced that his son still lives and would pay a sultan's ransom for news of his whereabouts. Da -da 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 -da. Ha ha ha! Truly a tragedy for the ages, and a testament to the misfortunes that may befall us should we act without due consideration. But so long as you are prepared to abide the capricious whims of fate, I am willing to oblige you this once. That said, in light of the recent rebellion, I trust you understand that I cannot deliver you to Doma itself. I can take you only as far as Kugane and Higashi. We will require time to procure sufficient provisions and make ready for departure. I humbly suggest you do the same. <laughs> Suddenly, all those hours Tataru passed cavorting and capering at the Forgotten Night seem rather better, better spent, do they not? That said, I had intended to press the point more obliquely, and there was something disconcerting about the pleasure Tataru took in making Captain Carvelian Lane squirm. There, yeah, she's a little evil one, isn't she? The poor little boy had only seen 14 summers when he lived Ishgard. Can you imagine what it must have felt like to finally be free to explore the world? and behold into all the stuffy traditions of the Holy See. Such a shame that he never returned home. Without him, the Count de Durandere must look elsewhere for a successor, and the good Lord Jada Quinard is one step closer to being the next in line. I say we should heed the captain's advice and attend to our own preparations while they ready the vessel for departure. Tataru and I will procure the necessary supplies. Alize, I should be grateful if you would use the time to brief Urialje of recent developments. You may also wish to review the relevant safety procedures in the event of an emergency at sea. How... How very prudent of you. Very well. I shall go and speak with him. What a burr and lease. I would like the two of you to return to Revenant's Toll and speak with our Dolmen allies. I fear we know too little of their homeland, and any information they can provide would be most welcome. When we have completed our respective tasks, we will reconvene here at the Ferry Docks. Agreed? Sounds like a plan. Let's go, Burr. Well, here we are. We'll need to talk to lots of people, so I think we should split up. I'll ask around at the House of Splendor, so you take the Rising Stones. I'll meet you hereafter, got it? Greetings, Burr. What brings you to the toll this day? What? You are for Doma? Heavens. You scions have shown us not but kindness, but never my wildest dreams. Did I imagine you would fight for our homeland? For twenty-five years we suffered under their tyranny, and then we spied an opportunity. The Emperor, dead. Garlemal in chaos. It seemed the time was ripe. Beneath our lord's banners we gathered and fought to reclaim our nation. But when Xenos arrived with the Twelfth Legion, it was over in an instant. You are truly planning to travel to Doma. I... I do not know what to say. Forgive me. I shall aid you to the best of my ability. Ours is a beautiful land nestled on the eastern coast of Arthard. Along the banks of the One River, our nation thrived, proud and free until the Garleans came twenty-five years ago. The river was our lifeblood, free to travel and to fish, but travel was soon restricted, and now the river belongs to none. Who? What is it, my friend? You look as though you have something to ask. That you go to join Yugiri and Gosetsu and the fight fills me with such joy. Ah, forgive my exuberance. You require information, yes? We of the Nagai clan have served Doma faithfully for generations. My ancestors held positions with Doma, within Doma Castle, even. Now, it is home to the Imperial Viceroy's witch and her host of men in Magitech. To think that what was once the shining symbol of our heritage and the seat of our dear Lord Kyan has become a den for Garlean dogs. Something interesting? The older Domans I spoke with tried to teach me all about Far Eastern customs and the importance of formality and politeness. Well, I'm glad. Did you listen? Because I was really nervous about that. <laughs> I'd like to think Eorzeans can be just as stiff and stuffy as anyone, especially Ishgardians. But anyway, did you know they eat with sticks? It wasn't all that hard, actually. Or at least that's what I thought until they told me I was holding them wrong. 
And then when I spoke with the younger Novans, they just rolled their eyes and told me it was all a load of stupid old... Who? <laughs> wow. What you learned sounds a lot more useful. Unless someone invites us for dinner, of course. I hope they do. <laughs> hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.